Alright, what's up guys? Dunstantron Racing is back and today is a very exciting day. I'm going to be playing Forza 6 for the first time and I cannot wait. Of course, it's 10 years since Forza 1 came out. The Turn 10 Studios have finally decided to get a new thing. As far as I know, it's been the same since Forza 3. And that was a while ago. So, oh no, well this is a good first run boys and girls, Forza 6 has just crashed on me, let's start it again, this sounds like it's doing better, and this video again. Why do we race? Is it to prove how fast we are? How far we can go? Do we race to find our place? To test our beliefs? To be part of something greater? To face fear, to know sacrifice. So, to grow stronger, to become immortal. In truth, there is no simple answer to why we race. There is only the fact that we always will. Now that is a good point. <sighs> Pretty much just run through the demo again, eh? Welcome to the Sequoito Jejio, a course that takes drivers from the shores of Copacabana Beach to the vistas of Corcovado Mountain. I'm here to give you your first look and first drive of the spectacular 2017 Ford GT on the colorful streets of Brazil's marvelous city. All right. Of course, automatically all the assists are on. So. does everything for me and that doesn't feel right. I don't even have any of the HUD. This process is more or just a trial race.
Jesus, yes I can. So I'll drift around this corner, but this game isn't letting me because of all the assists. Congratulations, you have completed your first race. Yay. Nice driving. Just what I would expect from a Forza veteran. We'd like to thank you for your loyalty with some gifts we've selected just for you. So, tier 2, M M235i. To be perfectly honest, I'm not a fan of BMWs unless they're an M3. E46 specifically. Now, if you know what that is, you'll know that that is the model that they based the M3 GDR off. GTR, fair enough. F-Type, Vantage, Aventador, Focus RS, Raptor Shelby, Shelby GT500, and 5.1 million credits. Fair enough. As a veteran Forza player, you may also set up your driving Oh, assist. thank you for actually letting me do this now. Forza 6 is probably the first game to do that, where it lets you... F where it realises you've been playing for quite a long time. So, braking line, no ABS, steering normal, traction control only. No, sorry, wrong one. Stability control only. Manual with clutch, cosmetic will be just fine, and no rewinds, because I hate using the rewind, and hey, extra 10% credits, I'm not going to turn that down. Now I'll give you a quick primer before starting your career. Your career spans five different volumes, each built around a different type of car passion. From hot hatchbacks and vintage sports cars, to grand touring cars and formula racers, you will drive and collect the greatest cars in the world. But first, I'll guide you through a short three-race uh, qualifying series. Can't remember the left one. Middle one's Abu Dhabi. Yes, Marina. The right one. In the demo, it was Sebring and Rain, but this looks like Circuit of the Americas. Lime Rock Park. That's the one on the left. Your first qualification race oh. takes place at Lime Rock Park, known for its flowing elevation changes and rural decisions, settings. Decisions. We've assembled a roster of truly iconic cars from the Super Street volume to use for qualifying. All these cars have been upgraded to be evenly matched, so choose the one that speaks to you and we'll get started. 86, RX-7, Impreza, S2000, and Dolf R. I could go... Go Golf R? Uh, I don't know. To me, Golf's a... No, Golf's a pretty damn good car. It's like the higher models, but... I just find the Golf too common, and... I've never really had it... The Golf's never quite appealed to me in the racing sort of way. S2000... Generally, Hondas aren't my sort of thing. Impreza. I've had troubles with Subarus in the past. Somehow, Subarus just never worked well with me. RX-7, one of my favourite cars. One of my favourite Mazda. Probably my favourite Mazda all altogether. But when I used this in the demo, I had some issues controlling it. 86. I've always wanted to own an 86, or GT86 as they call it here. But in Australia, we just call it the 86, and you have the GT and the GTX, I think. 
Either way, it's just called 86. When I tried this in the demo, Great choice. Now let's it worked. customize it to Quite really well. make it yours. These designs were created by other players in our vibrant community of painters. You can choose one to apply to your car for free. Hmm. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Rocket buddy. Fair enough. Oh, we'll just nah. My sort of style is simple but effective. This is okay, but the styling isn't quite right. I don't mind this. Are you ready to start your race in this car? Yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm happy. Okay. And now for the race, free race thing. Every race has an objective. For this qualifying race, you must finish in third place or better in order to advance. Select Start Race to begin. This menu allows you to select just the right Drivatar difficulty skill to provide you exactly the level of challenge you like. Increasing the difficulty will also increase your credits reward. Decreasing the difficulty reduces this bonus, but it will be easier to win. I'm stuck between above average and highly skilled. Maybe I might just stick with above average for now. Until I'm certain that I'm good enough. So I haven't played a track Forza game for a little while. I've, and I didn't play much of Forza 5. And Forza 4 was such a long time ago. The only game I've played in the last year is Horizon 2, really. I played a lot. Um, aggression. Oh, well. We won't limit aggression just yet. They shouldn't be too bad. I'm just as aggressive, really. <laughs> Perhaps more. Start race. Powered by Drivatar technology, each driver is as unique and competitive as the players who trained them. I see one big problem. Metric, please. hurts my brain because Australians use kilometers the only issue I have with the metric units is with the tire pressure see I'm actually more used to tire pressure I'm used to PSI, pounds per square inch, which sounds weird, but it's true. But here, um, in Forza games, whenever I set the units to metric, it always sets that to bar, B-A-R. Now, I cannot remember what that actually is or anything, but... I've never used bar in my life. I've never seen bar anywhere besides in Forza. So, 
I feel that's a little bit annoying to try and work with, but whatever. Also, the fact that I'm not very old. I'm only 17. Uh, get back, get back, get back, get back. Damn it. Definitely stick with the above average for now. change the advanced settings for the controller. I need to make it so that it is the whole trigger. time you race, you win credits. Credits help you buy new cars, upgrades, and other special items that I'll show you later. Fair enough. 7,000 credits. You'll also earn experience points, or XP for short. XP increases your driver level and affinity level. I'll share more details on these in the coming races. Nice work passing your first qualifying race. Yas Marina Corkscrew. We're off to a night race at the Yas Marina circuit. With track temperatures cooling after sunset, your car's tires won't provide as much grip. Your challenge will be to find the limit of traction without going over it in order to win here. Fair enough. 